think about this? You said six dollars? Let's set it up. Why? It's on the floor. vehicles are starting to pack up in here folks this is a good sign for the community especially for this little itty bitty swap meet so if you're ever in vegas or if you live in vegas and you want to check it out you don't want all that noise like the big swap meet you want to come check out this place really really nice to see people already moving around nice weather right now too this is like sweater weather all right we got some christmas trees out here folks very affordable christmas trees let's come on out to the boulder swap meet Pick these up before somebody else does because you don't find them that good of a price. They're only going to get more pricier. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen a reindeer hitch like that. That's really cool. <laughs> How much is this guy right here? Um, yeah. He's five bucks. Five bucks? He's a little big and I didn't bring my cart. If he's still here when I come back he around, so cool. I'm going to uh, scoop him up. He's a wrestler dude and he beat him up. I like them. Unfortunately, Carlos said, hey, babe, can you get me some gas for my car? And I had my GoPro, my cart, and everything ready in my truck. And when I got here, I'm like, ah! everything's in the truck. So I'm using my phone today. But good thing about this swap me is that it isn't too loud at all. I see some new vendors, but I want to go show some love to the vendors we always see when we come around. Um, I gotta get these golf clubs before Mikey comes get some. Gotta find the good ones. Laser Headwear is a really good brand. I've known of this brand since back in Hawaii days. So if I could get it for whatever price, I'm gonna put it in the shop and sell it for around 13 bucks. This vendor had quite a bit of toys and is one thing I need to start looking at, especially for a shop. And I'll tell you more why after the next video because we just opened up today, folks, the soft opening and I'm excited to move forward learn from our customers and grow as a business so so much to learn so thank you for sticking through this is what i do i'm a reseller i'm sunny las vegas i treasure hunt for items good or bad i try to investigate them see if they're not broken like this and put them back that little dinosaur well big dinosaur sold for a lot when it first came out jurassic park though jurassic park is one you should keep an eye out on for the little batteries are easy to replace go on amazon order a packet of them Trust me, you're gonna need them in the future if you're into things like this. How much for the toys? One dollar. One You have change? I have never ever done well with this Olympic I guess bald eagle or American eagle. Stickers, hats, t-shirts, I've never done any good on them. I think I've only sold one out of all the things I picked up. I was interested in this box, always curious if something's in there, and there was. Those are some blingy shoes. Something else had my attention that I definitely want to get is laying on top. This is an authentic 2018 Pearl Jam Tour cap. So a lot of people look for tour band tees, well, there's hats as well. Sanson is a vintage brand that I know of. I've come across two or three over the last few years and I've sold them Maybe for over there got some too. But this one is in really good condition. It does have a tractor, it's OG red, and I think I could get around 25 bucks for it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna throw it on eBay. But these earrings did catch my attention at the same location. They have screw backs, which tells me they are vintage and I think I could get around 15 bucks for them. I'm taking them to the reseller cartel, brick and mortar shop. Rest in peace, Madden. Look at all these, look at all this clothes, folks. You know how I feel about clothing. That's vintage, but the threads are messed up. I would have rocked that one. Got some boots. 
Look, I was going through this. You see who just snagged my stuff? Angel came over here, said the low, and distracted <laughs> me. And then Crystal it. swoops in and <laughs> takes my my stuff. I just saw it from right there. I was like, oh, that's a rabbit. Hey, check it out. Make sure to ask. She has pretty good prices last time we were here. I think we're starting down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to check out this jacket, though. You don't want to check that out? Before somebody grabs that? I'll catch up to you. Allergic to rabbit? For real? You just grabbed it? Are you going to swell up? Hold on. No. Let me see if you swell up. No. I took allergies, though. <laughs> All right. Last time we were here, folks, I ended up getting a Starbucks cup, and it just sold the other day. I came back to check out this jacket in case Crystal wanted it. It is a natural fur, a natural rabbit fur. And then looking at the sleeve, it's coming undone. There's one thing about leathers and furs. It may look nice, feel nice, really soft, but you really got to test it out. Look at it, it's starting to come apart. You really got to move it around, see how it goes, see if it's shedding really bad. There's a lot of things to fur that you really want to make sure you're on point. So that way you're not buying something and then regretting it soon after. There's a lot of clothing here. Tennessee, this one's cracking. Oh, got the scoop neck, Tennessee scoop neck. <laughs> nice design though. All right. I like that helmet right there because on top, I think it has a Mexican flag. I have two little bitty ones, and since I came across them, I've just been intrigued in finding more. And then, do you see what I see? Look at that, right there. That has to be a Game Boy. Game Boy Pocket. Um, don't know how much they go for, and I don't know how much it worked. I don't know if it works, so we're going to have to see on the price. First, I'm going to research, see if that's actually worth getting. Got Chucky over here. Probably some peppermints. We got some bum buddies. I think that's for um, your bum. Got some little peeps. Look at that little cart. I like that little cart more than anything. I'm going to get that cart. I just got told for the first time, couldn't record. Doesn't bother me at all because you got to respect the vendors, folks. It's that simple. And can you reach over again real quick? I just, just want to check something out. I give it an eight. <laughs> what you got over there? D, D beer? D beer. <laughs> D beer. Got to use an accent on that. It's a cincher. Clincher. 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 You got a good clinch on it. Is that a ball? That is a ball. Yeah, it's a ball. The cereal. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> I'd rather have it with mine. For sure. All right, folks, getting some stuff for the shop, too. Shopping. Got Angel here. Angel of my life. Got Crystal over here. Ladies are mingling. Trying to catch up to Mikey. He's a fast one. It's the good side. The back side? Letting everybody see the good side first. Finally got my splitter with uh, Mikey here. We got a splitter. I want to show you one of the hats I got. Oh, yeah. yeah, closer. Yeah, it is. I was thinking maybe we'll have a little sweater competition oh, at the shop. Oh, has some shop. has some themes days. Mikey Hula T-shirt day. Like have some giveaways for the customers. Theme dress day. Yeah, yeah. What y'all thinking? What y'all think watching that, folks? What do y'all think about theme days? Not every week, but every once in a while. It's like working at uh, the office. Office parties, office themes. Not even have to get like a birthday thing on the calendar, you know what I'm saying? I've been wanting to do that. Cake, we'll get cake from mm. the next door. I like cake pops. Because you don't get to share them. You never see people say, hey, you want a half? You want a piece? No, you just eat the whole 
cake pop. Do you do it in one bite? Do you do it like five bites or does it depend on the mood? It's usually just one bite. Yeah. Nah. I just put it all in my mouth. <laughs> Other stuff. Why no, are you going to back at the store when you go there like every week and you go the route? So, when you go to the same thing, oh, got the famous yeah. cheapest over here. Hey! <laughs> hey <everybody. laughs> uh, yeah. And the famous Mikey Bags of Moolahs. Mikey Bags of Moolah. I think I found a nesting egg, but I think it's missing one. So, it seems like an awfully big step down right there. Are you going to sit on that until it hatches? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. spoiled. Mm. It's spoiled. One, huh? Uh, yes. Somebody tried to eat it. Did you see who's on the inside? Piglet. Oh, he, he the he found poo. One. I did. He found poo. Poo's obligatory. How much for poo? What about? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What about? Uh oh, negotiation. Two dollars. <laughs> and your turn. I'll accept two dollars. Oh. <laughs> We always have fun when we come here. We always have fun. <laughs> Oh, you oh, even got a box. Oh. That's the you know best service we've gotten all day. Come on, we're gonna say. We can find some more stuff. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at look at this sequence stuff right here. Yeah. These are like sequence patches, folks. The other one, the other one have more. Is this Barbie? Barbie sequence? I wonder, I wonder what Crystal would think about these. That way, right? Chris, Crystal yeah. and Carrie, yeah. yeah. I think so. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's just. I wonder. No, this is Dolly Parton. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I like this. I like this. Yeah, this is Dolly, isn't it? Dolly Parton. Barbie. I think it's Barbie. Because the hair is so big, though. The boobies aren't there. Well, if it's Dolly, yeah, if it's Dolly, yeah. you gotta have the boobies. But, it's like but Dolly Parton has, she goes with the twins every time. Five, six, eight. Oh, a little beady one. Seven, eight. Eight, eight dollars? Eight, eight total. What about six dollars? Five, five. It's your turn. Hold on. Okay. Let me let me think about this. He said six dollars. Uh-huh. I'm gonna give you ten dollars. Wow! So <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, I think they're really cool. It is. I think so too. Offer. Thank you for accepting my <laughs> offer. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Got some Ninja Turtle action. Let's try to do a package deal, folks. Sony. I've sold some of these before for 42 bucks. See how much she wants for these because I saw a really good comp of this little guy. I'm gonna have to put you back, folks. I'm gonna put you back. Oh, some little gun pieces. People buy this stuff too, these little things. People make their own custom toys. Let's see how much she wants for this. And this is not even knowing if it works or not. The famous cheapest often brings in bags I'm familiar with. The sports sack are brands that I can kind of sniff out of any purse. It, that doesn't sound right. But I end up looking inside here and I feel the quality of this leather bag and I want to look into it more. I turn it around and I see that it has a Chloe all over it. I'm super excited about this, but I'm limited on funds. Okay. That one give me a price on that. How about these two? Okay, you give me a price because this Let one... Let me see I'm... how much I got. Okay, that's See how great. much I got in my wallet. Hey, I know you're honest with me. Whatever you, you say is okay. Oh, 
Take a. Uh, what would you take? Do whatever. You say it. Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> you said whatever. I'll give you thirty. Really? Yeah, I'll give you thirty. Twenty-five. Thank you. Just in case. Thank you. Can I have a hug? I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you. Come to see yeah, me we'll be back bag. again. Thank I just you. got back from Hawaii. All right, folks. I just scored on some stuff. But do they work? Are they legit? Are they real? Because if they are, I'm about to make bang. We all found some amazing things at the swap meet. I'm glad to see that the community there of vendors are growing, as well as seeing things that we are looking at in the past, uh, which has been recently, and they're they're gone, which tells me people are buying that stuff. There's customers going and they're moving inventory in and out. And that's one thing that's really excited about today that you're not going to see. But in the next video, you are. The soft opening of the Good Stuff to the Store, the, the reseller cartel brick and mortar was an amazing experience. And I'm going to share that with you in the next video. But for this bag right here, folks, this bag should get me around $600 to $800. I just hope it sells as fast as I found it. Mine, Ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks so delicious. My saliva is salivating. Mm. Thanks, Mikey.